Hello and Assalamualaikum. In this video, my group, STEM Quattro, will present about our simulation program of a vending machine project for a computer and architecture subject. But before we, I would like to introduce myself and my group members. My group leader is Nur Izzah Izzati, and the other three members are Siti Azmina, Arina Zafira, and myself, Hazli Natasha. In this project, our group need to develop a simulation program of a vending machine drinks. The program should ask the user to input the money to purchase the drinks. Then the program, the program have to implement some calculation and be able to return to the starting point to display the main menu again for the next purchase. Now, our group uh, will explain the full coding that we had been created for this project. But the first part of this coding is the data part. We had customized our output screen with the white background and black color for the text. So in this part, we had declared color variable and uh, black for the text and white for the screen. Uh, next, we had declared all the uh, string that we want to use in this program in bytes because we want to move the offset of string into the register. And here we had declared all the variable used in this coding as the word data type because we are using 32 bit data register in the coding. Next, move to the code part. In this part, it will move the color variable into EAX register and then call the set text color function. So next, uh, prompt 27 will display the message welcome to Quattro vending machine and prompt 28 will display message here is our G menu. While prompt 2 will display the menu for drink choice. This menu and from five, uh, from six, and from seven, it will uh, show the the value of uh, ten cents, twenty cents, and fifty cents, and required uh, user to input the amount of cents, uh, and it will look to calculate the total money inserted. From seven, will uh, display message to total money insert and show user the total amount of money that they have entered. Next is the user need to input the choices. So the first one is offset from 12, which is please enter your choice. Then this will move into the register EDX. Then we call the string and the user and read the input of the user. The input of the user will be moved into the choice variable. Then the choice variable will be under the if else statement. If the choice is equal to one, then jump to here one if the choice are equal. This is implemented to all of the choices. If the choices are invalid, which is other than uh, 1, 2, 3, and 4, then they will jump to invalid address. So in here part, 13, which is the menu, you have selected T. And then we also prompt number of drink that you want. So the, we will read the, the user input. Then we move the input into a T variable. Then we'll be we'll be multiplying the variable sixty to to display the total price of the drinks. So here we display the total price. Then if the money that we inserted is not enough, then we will jump to the not enough address. If the money is enough, then we jump to the enough money address. Then we will jump out, which is 
and this will be implement to all menu which is choco coffee and mocha then for the not enough money if we will prompt if your money is insufficient then it will it will jump to count one which is the exit then if this money is enough you will display your money balance then we will continue continue with the fun. next for the invalid part where for this part when the user input number other than one two three and four the program will directly jump to invalid and prints invalid choice because there are only four choices given. As we can see here, it will move the offset from 21, which is invalid choice, into the register EDX. And it will jump to continue one. And, and next, here, it will ask the user whether they want to continue the purchase or not. Here, the offset from 22, which is the question, do you want to continue, will move to the register. And when the user, if the user wants to continue to purchase, they will enter one. And if they want to exit, they will enter zero. And next, their choices, if they choose one, it will, the program will continue to jump to L0 where it will start over the whole program from here, the beginning. And if the user input zero, the program will jump to skip and prints thank you. And finally, it will jump out and the program will exit. So that's all on how our program works. So here the user will enter the amount of cents that they want. And they enter their choice and the amount of drink that they want. It will uh, show the total price for the drink, drinks and the money balance. If want to continue, enter one, and it return to the main menu. If the total money insert is less than the total price, uh, the message your money is insufficient to buy the item will be shown to alert user that they do not have enough money. Uh, if user enter choice uh, does does not have in the menu, the message invalid choice will be displayed. If user choice exit, the message thank you will be displayed. That's all from our group. Thank you.